Hey everyone, welcome back to Lace Up Channel. My name's Mickey. Today, I'm gonna give you the tip, the technique, the strategy that you have to put in place to ensure that you minimize shrinkage, waste, and so that you rotate the oldest product out of your warehouse first to increase the profitability of your inventory. So recently I've been talking to a bunch of distributors that are customers of ours that are really having or gaining a big interest in being able to track their inventory in and out of the warehouse. Whether it be because of um, new government constraints due to COVID or the fact that they're losing product on access merchandise or because they have no idea what to purchase because they don't know what's on hand, these different factors have led to these people reaching out to me. Now, most of these people think that tracking product going in and out of the warehouse is extremely simple. They think that they're gonna implement a little scanner and all of a sudden the system's gonna work. Now, they're in for a rude awakening when they realize that you have to implement both a system and a strategy and a process in order to get this whole thing to work. Because if you don't implement the process, then the system is completely useless. Now, I'm gonna run you through the process for how you can track inventory management. And essentially, this is what you wanna look for whenever you're going around and shopping for a warehouse management system. So the first thing that you wanna look for is, when you receive product into a warehouse, particularly if it's a food or beverage product, you want to receive the pallet in and you wanna be able to input or scan that product to give it entry into inventory. Now, as you're doing this, you should be able to give entry to the lot number and the expiration code on that product. And before putting that product into its bin location, you should be able to print a label, a QR code or a regular barcode that you can slap on the side of the pallet in order to scan it into the warehouse. Now, once that label's slapped on the side of the pallet, somebody within the warehouse has to come with a scanner. They have to scan that label, okay? They have to grab the forklift, pick up the pallet, and take it to its bin location. Once it arrives at the bin location, the user must scan the bin location, which I'll put a little image right here as to what those little barcodes look like. So they scan the bin location and officially that pallet with that item, with that expiration date, with that lot number is given entry into the bin location. Now that the product's been received into inventory, it's time to focus on picking. What happens during the picking process? Well, it's simple. Orders come in from your sales reps, they come in from your order entry team, they come in from your drivers or whoever it may be, okay? Those orders are gonna flow their way into a scanner, okay? This scanner, which looks like this, is gonna be held by the warehouse employee, and basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna open it up and it'll say item A, bin location A. When they get to the bin location, they're gonna use that scanner to scan that QR code on the bin location that I showed you before. Once they scan that QR code, the system's gonna pick up the item, expiration date, and lot number of the item within that bin location, and it will approve whether or not that is the item on the order. If that item is indeed the one on the order, what's gonna happen next is the system will increment by one each time they scan. Or the user can simply tap on the quantity and change it to 10 to validate that they're indeed picking what's on the order. So the user's gonna go through scanning each of, the, each of these bin locations and by the time they're done, they're gonna reach a staging area. This staging area is where the order gets wrapped on a pallet and normally you stick some kind of packing slip or you put a packing slip above. At this point, that pallet will be built out and it's time to transfer that pallet onto a truck. This is where the checker in your warehouse comes into play because the checker is also going to have a scanner. And officially, the checker will be the person that scans the pallet, scans that packing slip, and gets the product to transfer from the staging area into the truck. And that is the person that officially gives uh, outro, outro, <laughs> the person that officially gives the product out of the warehouse to the truck so that it can be delivered. Now along the way, as long as you have trustworthy people, it's almost impossible for people to steal from you because essentially they would have to collude and you'd have to get theft from the receiver, from the picker, or from the checker. If you're getting stolen from the beauty of this system is that you know exactly where the product's falling off. Maybe the bin location's short. Well, that's indicative of either the person checking the product in or the picker. Maybe the product is short when the checker goes to scan it on the truck. That's indicative that the picker is stealing or that the picker is simply not scanning the product correctly. So all the way throughout the process, you'll know exactly where your product is falling short, where it's getting stolen, or where you may be losing money. Now that you know how the product flows from into the warehouse and out of the warehouse, I want you to know, okay, that this is the only way to accurately track your product so that you maintain first in, 
first out. And this first in first out process will enable you to transfer the oldest product from the top of the bin location to the picking area in order to ensure that the oldest product goes out first to maximize the life of the product in your warehouse. Anyways, I hope that this video all about warehouse management helps you and your business implement a system that truly helps you in a process that helps you manage that inventory. If you have any questions, hit me down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you. Apart from that, I want to thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Why don't you go ahead, give us a little subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we will be here to continue to provide weekly videos to help you and your company. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Take care.